Welcome back my YouTube friends. So what I decided to do today is we're going to create design using these two images only and using Lightbox. I think most of the people know what Lightbox is. It's literally thin like that. has like button here. You got three kind of different settings from a little bit bright to more to more. And uh, basically get paper out. Put this light box underneath there. You literally got paper on top of it. You can turn that on. And then you just put that one underneath. Just like that. So it's literally like using Photoshop just by hand. You can draw on top of it. So what we're gonna do once I draw this face, I'm gonna put the, uh, the flower in the place where the hair is approximately there. And then on the spot, I'm going to create whatever's going to be underneath and under there, there. So in this way, it's quite easy to play around. You can like see how it's going to look. If you do for, uh, the facing first, you can add the flower afterwards, or you can add different images. So I, I only got these two today, but what I mean is you can have in the future like 20 of images and you can stack them together wherever you want because it's, it's that easy to adjust. Like you can like play around. And your design will be drawn on this piece of paper. So yeah, it's like a, a cool trick. I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can buy the sketchbook I use and the light box as well. It's pretty cheap, it only cost me like I don't know, I can't say the price, I can't remember now. But yeah, it's only like a couple of quid and using only this you can create amazing art. I've done this before and trust me, it's a lifesaver. It's a good investment in for future, right? It's gonna make you into the next level of where you can like you don't need to how to say you don't need to have that and draw here and you're struggling and you can't do and you like when you're practicing and it's it's just not really like as comfy as you can just put that underneath draw on top of it move that one wherever you need and copy it into another one and it makes life easier trust me what I do first is I draw still with a pencil, I don't draw straight with the markers and stuff like that. I'm going to draw with a pencil first, I'm going to plan out whatever I want, then I turn it all off, then I can see what image I have, what I need to adjust, maybe I want to change it differently. And uh, we'll see from there. So I'm going to make a time lapse video, it won't be one of these videos where I got up close, but it's going to be a time lapse video. And let's watch it.
there you go, that's how I do, I literally do a rough sketch of what I want to do and then I just go for it, I don't really plan a lot, I don't really like get frustrated, I go with the flow and don't worry the face is going to look as pretty as that one, you just need some shading and stuff like that now you just flatten basic lines there and this, look, this one I would say quite answer is your question asking how to simplify stuff when you've got a lot going on so imagine all this is quite detailed and that is quite detailed, there's all the little creases and stuff like that but once you take the basic shape of the whole thing so just like that line is there, you just make it cleaner and don't do like all the tiny stuff just take the basic shape, the basic bumps, the bigger areas like I did with the hair, I just literally took the basic flow, basic there and then I made my own and second suggestion would be if you do like do detailed, just do detailed if you, got, if you have the gift, the eye for detail, just go for it, you know don't try to like simplify yourself because that's what everybody else do if you can do it, just do it People a lot more appreciate like detailed tattoos than just boring simple ones and I would say I do in between. I like to do I would to say I like to do busy but at the same time it they are simplified but busy. I like busy designs, I like headaches, I like something that's like complicated. I know this is not really that complicated but I like to challenge myself basically. I did this just so uh, explain you how I use Lightbox and all these features for my advantages what you can do using basically sketchbook, Lightbox that one could be any image, literally anything you can do like celebrity portraits, you can do Mr. Bean, you can do like presidents, whatever, mix them up with like flowers and you can go as creative as you possibly can do really this is what's just like shoving what I do sometimes, not always, you know, not always. But when it comes to portraits, I tend to do it that way. It just saves me a lot of time, a lot of headache. And uh, if I see image underneath my drawing, it's just easier to follow, and then I don't get frustrated, and uh, and sometimes it doesn't put me off. And because it, it can put you off, you know, if you're struggling with like portraits and stug struggling with that, but you really want to do and. Sometimes it just puts you off, you know, you fail in there, you fail in there and then you just don't want to do it anymore and you give up to yourself and it's not really the best way to do it. So that was it guys. Hopefully hopefully you uh, you did learn something about all this. And uh, yeah. The shading and the colour probably gonna be next time. I don't know if I'm gonna do a colour, maybe I'm not gonna do a colour, but it really needs a shading, but that's gonna be a next video. I don't wanna make this one too long or one of those 20 minute videos so this might be a 20 minute video I don't really know so I just filmed it so take care guys and see you later watch out for next video yeah take care